What's up, guys? We're here at AMC Town Square with Chase and Cinema. Mr. James Shoot! Dot com. It's not just a normal Thursday. This guy celebrating the big birthday. Happy birthday, good sir. Right. Where better else to celebrate than here at AMC Town Square? You know, we saw Toy Story yeah. before, and I'll tell you one thing. I wouldn't I, I wouldn't have any other way, honestly. Yeah. I, I Maybe I'm getting old. I'm 37. And you just needed that kind of hippie, but, cheerful stuff. But... Well, I just enjoy being with my friends. While you were uh, singing Kumbaya with Woody and Buzz, I was hanging out with a much cooler toy by the name of Chucky. Um, you know, way back when, when I was a, a young kid, uh, I watched Toy Story in 1996, I was only five years old. But even maybe a year or two before that, um, I was being babysat by my brothers and I was sat down and told we were going to watch a very fun movie about some toys that would talk and stuff and eventually that would be Child's Play and it scarred me for life and Chucky has remained a big part of my of my life and uh, That's hilarious. A, a very important character, a character that has scared me but I've also grown to love. Uh, the franchise is all over the place, the first three movies are these kind of semi-serious uh, killer thrill, uh, slasher films that were came out in the late 80s, early 90s and then Chucky got married to Jennifer Tilly, and then he had a kid, and things got really, really weird. And they ended up kind of reeling things back in uh, the past two years, making two more Chuckies that kind of take it back to a more serious tone. But now... On VODs. Yes. Yeah. Now they're going in the direction of a TV show. Brad Dourif, the man who voiced Chucky that we all, you know, can recognize in a heartbeat, is going to be doing a TV show and continuing that Chucky storyline. But, as all Which is interesting. It is very interesting. Yeah, I'm... I'm because if it's serious, he don't ever die. He yeah, just keeps on I mean, just keep on going. Jesus. Well, I mean, you know, no one really wants, I don't think, Chucky to die at this point. I know, I know. <laughs> so now, but they also, in Hollywood, as we learn, things change, and now we have a remake. Um, Mr. But, Marster, yeah, uh, Mr. Mark Hamill. Yeah, Mr. Mark Hamill doing the voice of Chucky, who, which, when they said, who's going to voice Chucky, no one could do it. No one. You can't show me a picture of Hollywood. Nobody could do it. And then I heard it was Mark Hamill, and I said, what? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, you got me, you're right, let's do it. And then I saw some trailers, and you know, the whole idea that Chucky now is this kind of AI type creature that's, you know, making it in the cloud, modern. you're very making it modern. Um, I was intrigued. I don't think Child's Play is bad, but I don't think it's great either. Um, so it's like a 1.7 out of 4. Maybe a 2.5, maybe a 2. Because, I re you know me, the biggest thing I hate about remakes is if they do the same thing. If I love anything, go crazy. Make this movie your own. And this movie does. Like, this movie tries to do something completely different. Um, it was produced by the same people who made it. So there is this kind of weird loser club, these band of misfit outfit kids who say curse words and kind of crack you up. Um, there's that part of the movie. And then there's, of course, the horror aspect that... Even the killing and all that stuff is creative as they kind of do get. It never really feels like that impactful or scary. I don't think the movie is a very good horror film, but I, I did enjoy seeing what could be done with the character. But I just think there were so many things that they wanted to do. They wanted to talk about the cloud. They wanted to make this this statement about how things all AI? work and how we... Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 because that's what the movie is, essentially. I mean, uh, they, um, this is, I mean, the first five minutes of the movie, but the, someone toys with the uh, chip that is uh, inserted into a Chucky doll. Is this movie uh, continuing the storyline, or this is literally brand new? This is literally Nothing brand exists. new. Okay. Because if you look at the old child's play, uh, a serial killer is shot in a mm -hmm. toy store and then possesses the body of a doll. This is literally a, comp a computer AI that's filters are shut off, which you know, it, like I mean, it's literally like turn violence filter off, and then like literally like turn language filter off, and you know, of course, as you know, young kids do, they watch horror movies, they laugh at violence, they play violent video games, and Chucky's just kind of absorbing all of this and doesn't know how to take kids laughing and playing with all this stuff. And you know, I think they wanted to talk about how what kids do and with technology and all that stuff, but they never really get the chance to. And I think that's kind of where it's a bit of a bummer. Um, I did like this idea where Chucky is genuinely sincere in the very beginning, where Chucky's like, I love you, Andy, I just want to be your best friend. But it becomes kind of like this, this, this the, the, the kind of, the, the rage in Chucky is kind of inspired by the lack of love Andy gives him at some points. And I thought that was a cool twist, but they don't really go as far as they should have there either. But, I mean, overall, I think it's a cool iteration, a cool way to look at the character. Uh, I'll be watching the, the TV show. Um, do you know when that comes out? What's, I, I don't. I don't. Or? I mean, they've been talking about this yeah. for a long time. So, but I'm sure now this 
it was coming out, but it'll be. I'm sure it won't be too much farther. The movie wasn't made for much money. The budget's not super super big. It's Chucky. It's one of the most famous horror characters of all time, and it's a scary movie. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to bring in the money, and I'm pretty sure we'll get a sequel. Um, they left it open, I'm assuming. As they yeah, yeah. I mean, do. yeah. I mean, it doesn't. I don't think it's super hard to figure out once you have like the cloud and stuff involved to kind of ah. go where things are going, you know. But um, yeah. Overall, uh, a fine movie. I don't think it's really that kind of scary, Chucky. But I will say, like, I loved uh, Mark Hamill in this role. I thought he was great. I thought he voiced it great. Um, I think there are maybe two or three really, really great moments. I think the kid who played Andy, which, funny enough, we were talking about. I didn't know this. The original Child's Play was about a boy named Andy who wanted a toy. And I think that was the inspiration of naming the character in Toy Story Andy. That's nuts, bro. I don't I don't have facts on that. So take it out with a grain of salt. But I just think it's either way, it's still funny that we literally watch two movies about two toys, you know, in posters in which one toy is killing other toys, yeah. and are all owned by a boy named Andy. Um, they make him death in this movie, um, and I think they could have used that in a lot of cooler ways. They do eventually towards like the very final 10 minutes of the movie. I think they could have gotten to that a little bit earlier and made that way cooler. But overall, I thought it was fine. I, I think people won't love it. I think if you're going to watch Chucky that you know and love, don't bother because this isn't that. Uh, but I, I recommend giving it a shot. I mean, I think there's this one really, really great moment uh, because now Chucky can record and Chucky can has cameras everywhere and Chucky does this really sadistic act. I won't say what it is. But um, instead of doing anything like really scary or kind of like stabbing people, it's, this also becomes this mental game. And um, a character is sleeping and uh, Chucky is hiding in the corner of this bedroom and he's just playing the audio of this horrific act. And this character has to listen to what happens. And it's like this really great twisted moment. I just wish the, the movie would have gone there more. So anyway, uh, not a bad movie. I don't think it's as good as maybe the other toy movie that we saw. Go check out that review. And then next week... Four. Another toy. Andy Annabelle. Bell. If they all got into a fight, who would win? Andy. Andy. From Woody. <laughs> Woody. I was gonna say what you Woody. Woody, Woody would, would win. win. Yeah. He's a sheriff. Woody, he's a sheriff and he yeah. just has two he has, when you have an entourage, bro. That moral compass. He does have an entourage. He has too. Bo Peep. Oh man. I forgot to mention uh, no one's taking down the inner Peep. voice in our other review, but that was a great thing too. Anyway, go watch our review for Toy Story 4 because uh, a lot of good stuff. And then next week, Annabelle. Uh, also, the Beatles movie, that yesterday movie. That That's one I'll like, be watching. Looks like right yeah, up because I don't really care for Annabelle. Dang. I would have watched it, obviously, if this yeah. was it, but I'm watching it. But you're it watching yesterday, it, yeah. right? So hopefully we'll watch that and that'll be good. And then right after that, guys, what better way to celebrate this country? <laughs> yeah, than with uh, America's favorite superhero, Spider-Man. I'm not saying that he's everybody's favorite, but technically he's like rated number one favorite, right? Next he doesn't Superman. outsell Batman. No, I think Spider-Man does better than Superman. I think he's technically like the popular, but I think Batman makes the most money. So I, I guess Superman's not really in the top anything. But uh, anyway, happy birthday, my good sir. Uh, wouldn't want to celebrate any other way than here at the movies. Um, make sure to join us next week and 4th of July week because we're going to be watching Spider-Man. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Chasing someone on how's known as Film Lovers website.